After a much hyped gestation period that involved endless spy photos, rumors, and even a prominent role in a movie, the fifth generation Chevrolet Camaro is now available for public consumption. Its history is filled with highs and lows, but Chevrolet hopes the latest Camaro can capture the best of the past while maintaining a sharp focus on the future. Hello, and welcome to our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Chevrolet Camaro. True to the original formula, the newest Chevy Camaro is a stylish, high-performance four-seat coupe. Available with a high-output V8 or impressively economical V6, the Camaro is Chevrolet's contender in a 1960s-style pony car war with the Ford Mustang and Dodge Challenger. You'll like the Chevrolet Camaro if you want a fast, stylish, modern rendition of a classic American performance car. On the other hand, loyalties being what they are, the Camaro may have difficulty winning over dyed-in-the-wool Ford Mustang or Dodge Challenger fans. Those who really enjoy straight-line acceleration will appreciate the prodigious V8 power of the Camaro SS. While not as blisteringly fast as the V8, the base V6 engine also offers impressively strong performance. As a result of its concept car styling, outward visibility in the Camaro is marginal, with a high hood line and large blind spot over the driver's right shoulder. At freeway speeds, the Camaro feels stable, offers plenty of power for passing, and delivers a more compliant ride than expected. We did, however, notice some annoying wind noise coming from the driver's side window. Unlike pony cars of the past, the latest generation Camaro remains composed in the corners, thanks in large part to its independent rear suspension. Good steering feel and lots of grip make the Camaro a fun companion on winding mountain roads. High on our list of favorites is the V8 engine found in the SS trim. Beyond excellent power, the V8 charms with a satisfying rumble at idle and an aggressive growl when pushed hard. We also like the styling of the Camaro. Few cars make it to market with styling so similar to the concepts they are based on. Without detailed analysis, we doubt most people could distinguish the Camaro concept from the stunning production Camaro. The exterior design of the Camaro is sharply drawn, muscular, and aggressive. The view from the front is dominated by a horizontal slit housing the upper grille inlet and round inset headlights. A long power dome hood, short front and rear overhangs, and distinct round fender flares contribute to the Camaro's imposing look. Unique styling details appear throughout the design, including faux gills in front of the rear wheels, a shark fin antenna, and acute triangular accents that extend from the front to the rear fenders spanning the lower portion of the doors. At the rear, dual exhaust outlets peek through a black diffuser-like plastic insert while chrome-ringed quad taillights recall the look of the 1970 Camaro. When it came to the interior, the Camaro's designers also tried to stay true to the intent of a concept car on which it was based. Metallic trim sweeps across the dash, extending into the doors, while red and blue hues illuminate dual binnacle gauges and an integrated pod housing climate and audio controls. While nice to look at, in many ways, style trumps usability and quality in the Camaro. Most surfaces consist of average quality plastic, and some of the controls can be confusing. There's enough room for front seat occupants to sit comfortably, but rear seat head and legroom is limited. The trunk offers 11 cubic feet of cargo space, enhanced by a one-piece fold-down seat back, but accessing the trunk is difficult due to a narrow opening. The standard equipment list for all Camaro trims includes air conditioning, cruise control, power windows, power adjustable seats, and a CD audio system with auxiliary input and XM satellite radio. Standard safety features include stability and traction controls, anti-lock brakes, GM's OnStar system with automatic crash notification, and six airbags. Among the features that are optional or only included on higher trims are fog lights, a premium Boston Acoustics audio system, sunroof, leather and heated seats, aluminum wheels, and HID headlights. Offered for LT and SS trims is the RS package that adds HID headlights, a rear spoiler, silver 20-inch wheels, and unique taillights. There's also a Transformers Edition package that adds unique badging, hood stripes, and sill plates that recall the look of the Camaro featured in the movie. Power for the LS and LT trims comes from a 3.6 liter V6 engine rated at 304 horsepower. Buyers who move up to the SS trim enjoy an impressive 426 horsepower output from its 6.2 liter V8. Both engines send power to the rear wheels via a standard 6-speed manual transmission or an optional 6-speed automatic featuring steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Fuel economy with the V6 ranges from the mid-teens in the city to nearly 30 miles per gallon on the highway. The thirstier V8 sees city fuel economy numbers in the mid-teens and highway numbers in the mid-twenties. At around $23,000, the base price for the Chevrolet Camaro is slightly higher than that of the Ford Mustang and about the same as the Dodge Challenger. 
When heavily equipped, the price for a V8-powered Camaro SS can approach $38,000. To find out what consumers are actually paying for the Chevrolet Camaro right now, we suggest you check the New Car Blue Book value page. When it comes to resale values, the Chevrolet Camaro is expected to perform well, outpacing numbers for the Dodge Challenger and Ford Mustang. And that's our comprehensive Kelly Blue Book review of the Chevrolet Camaro.